Now, it feels like this summer has lasted forever, but things are starting to get moving on the Liverpool front. Now, there's no new signings as of yet, of course, but there is a new arrival in the coaching department. His name is Aaron Briggs, and he's been brought in for the role of elite development coach. Vito Matos was the previous holder of that title before leaving to join Red Bull Salzburg to be Pep Linder's assistant after Jürgen Klopp's departure. Of course, the elite development coach has developed into a vital role at Liverpool. It's a link between the first team and the academy. Really important in providing the pathway for young talent to break into the first team or at least get on the fringes of the senior squad and get in front of the eyes of the manager. Now, part of Matos' remit was getting involved in the one-to-one -one development of the young players and identifying youngsters with genuine potential, but also what work was needed to aid their development. Now, this role is even more significant since the move from Melwood to Kirby, with both the academy teams and the senior side training in the same location for the past couple of years. One of the ideas behind this move was to bring a synergy to the whole Liverpool FC organisation, which might have already been a success when you look at the developments of the likes of Jaden Dans and Bobby Clark, not to mention the meteoric rise of Connor Bradley. Now, Bradley is the prime example of a young player taking their opportunity when it arrives, but that opportunity doesn't happen without the role of elite development coach. With FSG having to look at creative ways to compete with the financial superpowers in the Premier League and beyond, developing youth talent to break into the first team or sell on a profit is an important part of the club ethos. So where does Aaron Briggs come from? Well, his most recent role was assistant coach at Wolfsburg, which ended in March after boss Nico Kovac was sacked. Now, it seems that this ending didn't affect Briggs' reputation too much as several Premier League clubs were said to be interested in in his signature. Now, prior to Wolfsburg, Briggs has a wide range of experience in football, having also been the performance manager of youth, under-23 assistant manager and match analyst at Manchester City, and match analyst, assistant manager and head of methodology at Monaco. Briggs has a really strong reputation in the game, so much so that Mikel Arteta tried to loan him from Manchester City to Arsenal which didn't go down too well at the Etihad a couple of years ago. Now, following the arrival of Briggs, it's thought that Liverpool only needs to appoint a first-team coach and a set-piece specialist to complete Slot's backroom staff. Slot's compatriote and former Everton defender Johnny Heitinger is one of the names in contention for the former role. Now, the former West Ham coach has confirmed he is in talks with Liverpool. The Dutchman, he spent five years as a player with Everton between 2009 and 2014. He left his coaching role at West Ham following the departure of David Moyes earlier this summer. Eitinger moved to West Ham in September 2023 following his departure from Ajax, having failed to lead them into the Champions League for the first time since 2009 during a short stint in charge there. As for player transfer use, there's not a lot to report on yet, apart from Nat Phillips finally edging closer to a permanent move away. Now, Liverpool rejected the bid from chance on support for £4 million. I always struggle with that Turkish team's name. But let's move past that. Now, they, they bid for around £4 million from Nat Phillips. Now, Liverpool value him closer to £8 million. Now, this... Seems like a figure that's even too big for Michael Edwards to pull off, and he's pulled off some good ones in the past. But it's likely that the, I think that you know there is a bit of wiggle room here, and maybe Nat Phillips could be available for around six million pounds. Now he'd be looking to kickstart his career, get some games under his belt, and I think his talent and character should be rewarded by first team football somewhere. Now Burnley amongst other teams, also said to be interested, which could be Nat Phillips' quickest route back to playing Premier League football as Burnley will surely be in contention for promotion this coming season.